This is a quick review to show you guys the Scholastic Weekly Readers, and I wanted to share this with you because I think a lot of homeschool families don't realize that this is an option for them. Basically, the Scholastic Weekly Readers look like this. So you have one of these per week, per kid that you have, and they are a little, um, it's kind of a four page flyer or like little bright magazine or uh, newspaper type print. So it's, it's pretty thin, but it has bright colors. The language and the vocab and everything in it is based on the grade level. So this is considered addition two, which is typically second grade. And you can go through and see what it has. There'll be a little bit of vocabulary and that comes into play um, for other stuff that you're doing. And then the last page is always either like a chart or a diagram or a graph or something else that is related to the topic, but it's not the same information that was in the topic. And so you'll have this, and then the student will have a few questions to answer related to whatever they're reading. So the chart or the graph and things like that. And that is pretty much what the reader looks like for the week. Then there's a number of things that are available online. So as the teacher, you can log in and like on this one, so this one is all about Abraham Lincoln. So there was a reader, one of those weekly readers that talked about Abraham Lincoln. And then online, there's a video, quick video, I'll show you what those are like, a game, and then there's always five skill sheets. And one of the skill sheet is an assessment. So I always have my girls do the assessment and see if they comprehended what they had read about. And then we usually pick one or two other items. So like in this case for the Abraham Lincoln, we ended up doing um, the timeline. So it had some timeline features down here at the bottom. My kids cut it out and then they had to figure out on the timeline where those different things need to be pasted onto the sheet. And so again, these are grade specific as well. Some of the other things they would have are, did you understand key details from the passage? Um, something on understanding the vocabulary. And uh, those are pretty common. So you're almost always going to have a key details, a vocab, an assessment, and then though it will kind of differ what the other two items. So to show you what it looks like online, when you get the subscription for the kids, they get the weekly readers, and then you will have access as the teacher to come online and get to some of the items that are online. So like, let's take this one on the shark. So as I head into here for the world's nicest shark, you have a video, like I mentioned, the videos are probably about four to five minutes long. They have these things that they call dance breaks. So they'll have some music and it'll be to the theme. Um, we don't always do those because my kids seem to have uh, enough breaks, <laughs> so they don't need those. Vocabulary words, so the highlighted vocab words that were in bold in the weekly re reader will all be listed in here with pictures and stuff, so it's a bit of a slideshow. And then there's a game. And so this case, it's an ocean animal memory match, but they have different games. My kids always love playing the games. And then they have an editor's pick on their kind of top pick on one of the printed resources that your kids can do. So again, here's where you come. You can get it into PDF form. I guess if you're doing Google Classroom, you could use it here. I'm not sure a lot of homeschool moms are having to use uh, Google Classroom since we are home. And then um, you can see here, you can get to the other issues and you can actually go back in time and go to any issue for your grade level that you're paying for. And if you pay for the science spin, you can get that as well. So let me tell you a little bit more about those options. When you get the weekly readers, this is how they come mailed to you. And so they're in this little plastic container. It'll come to you like this about a month ahead of time. And you'll have all four issues for the month. Or in my case, I have um, two copies of each of those. So I have eight weekly readers because I have two copies for each of my kids. You probably could get multiple grade levels. I don't do that because it's just easier, but if you did do multiple grade levels, you need to make sure you have a teacher's copy and, or the student's copy and a teacher's copy, which is the teacher's digital access in order to get online and see all this stuff for that grade level. Because like right now I have the level two, I can only see the level two stuff online. Um, I have already ordered mine for next year, so I will have a grade three 
level that I can come in here and log into, and they actually already gave me that code. So I can go in and see level three now, but my level two will expire, I think at the end of this month, because the new stuff starts up in August. The cost to get the weekly reader, and then I added on the science spin. The science spin is just a once a month deal. So there's just one for the whole month instead of a weekly thing, but it has some extra science fun stuff. And then there's the online resources for that. So the cost for me for two of the student weekly readers and one teacher access, which gives me the digital and the add-on of the science spin, I believe is $59 for all of those things for the whole year. So I think it's really a good resource and it's really a decent price for how much you get. And you have all this extra fun reading practice. This is an idea of what their topics are for this next year. And you know, this is subject to change, so they may not stick with it, but this is what they've listed. And you can see some of these things are time specific. So like you have Thanksgiving stuff in November and you have Black History Month in February. So it is time specific, but it, it doesn't mean that you would have to do it on that month. So if you're a traveling family or some somewhere where you're not necessarily getting your mail on a regular basis, it's fine to do this stuff later. We actually didn't even start until mid part of last year. And so that's why I still have this September issue because they went and sent me the back issues for the earlier part of the year because we didn't join till I think December or January. And so they sent me the old issues and we just haven't gone through all these yet. Um, but it, it does kind of correlate to the time of the year. And then you can see here what they are listing for the science spin. So hopefully this is useful to you to see how to do this. Um, it mentions here the website to go to, but you actually, I don't think you can order these online on the website. You couldn't last year because it thinks that you need to be part of a classroom and you need a 10 magazine minimum. So you need for 10 kids. And as a homeschooler, you probably aren't needing it for 10 kids. So you need to call them at the 1-800-SCHOLASTIC phone number. Tell them you're a homeschooler. They'll set you up with an account and then you can just order for like one or two or five or however many kids that you have and for the different grade levels that you need. The other nice thing about being part of Scholastic and having that online is that you can order books from them too. So you become a teacher and then you have um, an account where you can order books and we've done that a number of times and sometimes they'll have different deals or they'll have things that are coming out early to them that aren't available in other places. So very great resource. We've really been happy and I think it's just a great way to get some fun reading practice for your kids.